Hello, 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 hello.
As you come, help me share and invite. We are going to start. I'm going to start very soon. Yeah. 
Guys, don't forget to buy your waist trainer. Wrap your waist trainer, they are in. Immediately is fight in. Help me share and invite. God bless you so Whew. now we are going to start as usual for those that have been watching me for a while now we know that um before I start I always open my I always start with an opening prayer okay so wherever you are watching me from if you are not used to that please start getting used to that pardon I always start with an opening prayer so we are praying father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit of god i thank you for this moment i bless your name i glorify your name i magnify your name i lift your name higher above all other names father i want to thank you for preservation i thank you for guidance and protection all this while i thank you for the gift of life i pray that as i have come back to my show lord god give me the wisdom give me strength Bless me and bless whosoever that is is washing me. Those that are going to share this live broadcast, may you bless them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I welcome you in my means. I welcome you in this environment. Come and take your place in Jesus Christ, name of Nazareth. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Have you started? Have you started? For a while now, Facebook have not been hearing us. Yo, hey, hey, hey. So, guys. As you can see on my wall, what I posted there, I'm sweating. I, I wrote it there that if that situation, you think you are in a situation that you it is not going, make a move. Make a move. That is what we are talking about today. You are welcome to the international boss lady, Dominica. Please, as you come in, help me invite and share. God bless you. Make a move. Move is something in life that most of us have refused to make. That is why we, we, are, we are on that same position. That is why things are not moving. Because we ourselves have refused to make a move. So that situation, that problem, whatever. King. Dominic, I can't carry you. I beg. So that situation cannot change because we have refused to make a move. Okay, before we go into the topic of today, I would like us to talk about, deliberate a little bit about hygiene. Because this is connected, this is connected to what I am going to talk today about making a move. So we'll go talk some more about our personal hygiene. When I not get me wrong, I know say all of us would try our best for live healthy. They say healthy life is is um, healthy living is healthy life or whatever how they put it you know so we have to live healthy we have to live 
our keep our environment our surrounding clean so now I will talk about a little bit of hygiene and I'll go straight into the topic because what I had one talk today is the link with our topic of today that is making a move Dominica have you shared I've not seen you shared God bless you you're welcome making a move is what we are talking today as a woman for house whether you they live now for one bedroom apartment whether two bedroom apartment whether a studio whether a one room apartment we should learn to keep our environment clean men also learn to keep yourself clean okay i would like to throw a little bit light on hygiene as we live in dominica you have not shared you want my my, my wash you my use more washing before you share share please so um wait to what the try for talk today now say most of us today nowadays would get a lot of problems with our relationships with our marriages with ourselves and would turn at the end of the day for look far for look sideways where that problem they come for look the cause of the problem where we forget for cc that problem we are the cause of our own problem will be the cause of our own problem why i say will be the cause of our own problem because you go there for your house you will get your house you will be living in your house even if you're living in a very five bedroom apartment as a man as a woman if you don't know to keep your surrounding clean you are a problem to yourself most of us nowadays will go outside smelling of um, food cooked food why because it is a tip please Take it serious. You cannot be in your house and you are cooking with your windows all closed. Right? Even if you get a five bedroom apartment, you want to cook, make sure say, you open your windows. Because if you are cooking in the kitchen and all the windows, ventilate your house. Do it as a habit to vent always ventilate your house. Open the windows in the morning. Even if it is cold, people in the, in the uh, year in Europe. In the diaspora make sure that you open your windows to ventilate your house let oxygen come in and carbon dioxide go outside great get fresh air inside house some of us will go, go outside to go the ask yourself so you will come up as the smell of jangsa you the smell of a bono soup you the smell of a uh, tachot soup you know for for our <clears throat> camaron and bayangi people and i know what they talk about why because when you're cooking you don't know how to ventilate your house you just live your life as if there is some of us all our mind it be centered for 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 our job for find money for our job we are forgetting our own self and forgetting our own self is causing a whole lot of problems you don't check your surrounding you don't check if even if your husband or your your fiance or your partner way they with them it look clean in front of you. Some of you now on a husband or on a, on a, on a, on a partner, the way baby they grow for the nose. The baby don't grow so they don't turn gray. It is show for us. All these things causes body odor. Men, as women, learn to clean your nostrils. A dirty nostrils it causes body odor. For women, if some, 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 some person, if you tell you, say, get body order, it's not like you are dirty. No, you are not dirty. The problem is that you are not careful with yourself. For example, you know if you wear one bra, you know if you wear one breast wear, where you don't go outside, you don't go sweat. Sweat, not if you stay one day, the next day, they already smell. It is stink. So <clears throat> imagine, say, sorry, you go wear one um, breast wear, you wear that for one day, you go outside, you go work, especially for 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 summer or for dry season you go walk outside camp you can't keep that bra you pick them the next day you wear them you keep up that accumulated sweat you yourself if you not get the goodness enough you send them all those things they give body order all those things they give body order check yourself men if hair they grow for your nose learn to shave your nose women always shave your armpits Shave your, 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 your down below. Hair for woman's skin. 
na dirty, it becomes body odor. For example, if you keep a lot of hair under your armpit, and you keep a, a lot of hair down there, and at a long run, you go out, especially for my, my chubby sister then like me. You go out, they don't know how to take care of yourself. Some of us don't know how to use panty liners. You'll be running heta skater the whole day. You'll use the, the toilet, you'll pee, and so with that hair, that hair, that hair, where you keep it under your armpit, or with the sweat, it accumulates sweat. All those things it cause body odor. Try as much as much as possible, no matter how busy, how tight your schedule will be. For try for clean your house. Because the odor where you get it there for your house, you know they keep your house clean. It affects you in person. You know the other remember for your skin, but it stick for your dresses and around the house. Um, one moment, please, ma'am. Close this window. Light the enter. Okay, I'm back. So <clears throat> don't start. So check your surrounding. Check your armpits. Keep yourself clean. If you care, wash shower 50 times for one day. If you are that person that you are keeping a lot of hair under your armpit, under your down below, you don't keep your house clean. You de accumulate body odor for yourself. Let's try to be clean. Let's try to be clean. Make sure you clean your house. Even if when you are cooking, when you cook all that smell for chop, it will enter back inside house. Try so when you cook, you open all windows. Need the smell for food, go outside. Because if you can't, it can't stick for your clothes then. You go wear clothes, come out outside. You wash very well. You spray perfume. But when you come out, you go the smell of a bono soup. And you go to ask yourself, what is happening? It is, because, it is how the, the manner in which you handle things around you. Okay, my people, my people, you are welcome. Please, I'm seeing three people. Even if not zero people, me the zero people, then share a back. Una share invite. If this, I do always say, if my live broadcasting it makes sense for you, if it helps some person somewhere. King Royalty, if you want to take over this video, let me know. So, um, what I'm saying is that, um, we should try to keep ourselves, our surrounding. Clean because even the Bible say cleanliness is next to God leanness. So we should try to keep our environment clean. Now we go to the main topic of today. I said make a move. Make a move in your relationship. Make a move in your spiritual life. Make a move in your marriage. Make a move in that situation where you think say in not the move. We are the problem to ourselves. We'll be the problem of our situation. Look, if you are in a situation, for example, we'll go always talk about marriage. We'll go always talk about relationship. We'll go always use that. I've always used that as an example. If you look at nowadays, a lot of women, married women, are crying, complaining, unnecessarily. At a point, sit back. Ask yourself questions. Sit back. Look around you. Sit back. Take a, take one step behind. Take a deep breath and ask yourself question. Why is it that my marriage is always scratching? Why is it that my relationship is always have, I'm always having problems? Why is it that my business is not moving? Why is it that things around me are just they are just in a haphazard manner? Why it be say a in marriage it live very well with a husband? Look as B the enjoy a marriage with a husband. Look as C as it the enjoy a relationship. Not be because say A or B or C over beautiful pass you, or it over get fine fashion pass you. No. Now just small small basic things them around we. 
it be cause we get a lot of problems, a lot of divorce, a lot of um, chakara for relationship nowadays. For example, I made mention of hygiene. If you be woman where you day house, you are in the house with your husband. And you said you are a housewife, whether a working class wife or a housewife or whatever. And you don't check your surrounding. First, you are not prayerful. You just do things anyhow. You are that woman that you don't pray. You don't always guard, keep your, you guard close every corner of your relationship and your marriage. Look, if you are a married woman, wherever you are, and you think you can just live in that marriage on your own without God. If you think you cannot just, you can just be doing things like that, you will crash. You will crash because marriage itself not be easy. You cannot do it on your own. If you don't marry a woman, wherever you day, first you are not praying. You don't always call on God's presence and call on God to come and take control in your marriage. You will always crash. Secondly, you are that married woman that you don't care. First, you don't care about your home. Secondly, you don't care about yourself. You don't check your surrounding. You will sleep on a bed sheet for one month. Acne don't chakara all your face. Dirty pillowcase they give acne, pimples. Dirty bed sheet, it cause acne, it cause pimples. Your husband go and come out work for evening come or whatsoever. You want to sleep for Beshit, not if you perceive fine fresh smell from Beshit. You know if you perceive fine fresh smell from Beshit, you de sleep for dirty Beshit. Secondly, you be that woman where you de cook, you de leave the one person enter your kitchen, you de invite all rats and cockroaches them inside your inside. All those things are not dirty. If you are in a relationship, you are all welcome to the International Boss Lady Show. Please help me share. I know that they talk rubbish, but just help me share. Me the rubbish, at least reach some person. God bless you. God bless you, Dominica. Make a move in your marriage. If you if you there for your marriage and you see I'm say might be your husband be kiss you and all of a sudden your husband cannot kiss you again. When you want kiss you, it they say you divorce him and force him. When you want kiss you, it they say you check yourself, ask yourself questions. What has gone wrong? What did not happen? Check your teeth. Take a step back and check if you are brushing your mouth well. Some men they will tell you so you know what. You're beginning to have mouth odor. Sweetheart, do something about it. Some men cannot say it. Some man begin to show an action. So if you're that woman where you just stay on your own, you just, you just live a carefree life where you don't care, I can see the international boss man in the house. You're welcome, darling. If you're that, you that kind of a woman that you don't care, you don't observe, you don't check around you, you don't know even if your marriage or your relationship is scratching. Because your life is just to eat, eat ran randomly, eat anyhow, and you don't even take care of yourself. Some of us, we know that we are chubby. But we just leave our body like that. We don't even know what to wear that will fit our body. We don't even know how to look sexy, appear sexy in front of our husbands. Because you know that you know so you be a robot, you just leave your skin. Because you know that you are I see you, the international boss man. You're welcome, sweetheart. Let's check ourselves. If it is sleep for night, your master did it turn again for face you. Mona sleep that position, Mona be the sleep. Sweetheart, my dear sister, check your mouth. Check if you are brushing your mouth or your tongue well. Check your armpit if you have shaved. Check your body. Because no man no go feel one hug you on top bed for hold you sleep tight, then a horrible smell they come off of your skin. No. Your husband would like to say when you want hug you, make it get a fresh, sweet smell when they come off of your skin. 
Not only women, men too. I said some man picking a day where that baby they grow for the nose. So you come on aside, shave it. Men also check yourselves. If you're a woman, nothing check you, nothing control you. Say honey, you don't shave, you don't shave your armpit, you don't brush well. Check yourself, because if you don't do that, your woman it go start re react funnily. When you no go fit tell you, say this is the problem. Let us make a move. If your husband is behaving a type in the house. Rather than running heter scatter, complaining to ABC, inviting third party in your marriage that will help to help, they'll help you to make your marriage crash. Take it to God in prayers. Go down on your knees. While you are praying, begin to check around you. What could be a problem? That is the reason why I say make a move. In life, if you don't make a move, then you are heading to for doom. That situation that you feel that it is not going, try to make a move. Check left and right in your marriage. What is it that you are not doing? Why is it that your husband is giving you a very cold attitude? He's cold towards you. Because if you don't make a move and begin to fix things around you, things will get worse. Before you know, you'll, you'll be jumping from one... Uh, uh, um, marriage council office uh, office and the other when things they don't finally crash you go start find man of men and women of god the way they go start robo kabashaba for your head for start telling you say this or that keep your environment clean always know as a woman know the way when you dress your husband go admire you if you not say you get some some dressing way if you dress your husband they admire you make sure so you always dress that way for your husband not for people out there let us make a move even in the bible a lot of people in the bible be make a move jesus christ himself in the bible be make a move how jesus be make a move without the two fish the way jesus be get them and five loaves of bread it not be fit for 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 feed the multitude of crowd will be there in front of him so you cannot live your life like you know god himself cannot bless emptiness god nothing bless emptiness no that's the reason why they say manners cannot fall from heaven because God does not, God will never bless emptiness. If you are a married woman, you are make, making sure that you keep your house clean. You take care of yourself. You take care of your husband and up to crown it all, you are praying. Prayer is one thing that I want to encourage all of us here. If you're living your life, knowing that you are the CEO of your life and there is no order that can... No, there is no body, no, no, no superior power that can, can direct you or can control you. <coughs> sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Let us make a move in our situation in life, in our marriages. If your business is not moving, you think there is something, something that happened for your business. Check around what is happening. What could be the cause? Is it you? Might be your business place, people need to come again because dirty they drive them. You are that person that you don't you don't you don't keep your surrounding clean. You yourself you look so shabbily. Some people, some men they will keep their beer, go grow for their ear, then grow for their chin, grow for their nose. They don't care. Some of our sisters, the way they get salon, where they do salon. You want to do person in hair, they do hair. I want to do my hair for your salon. You need to smell fresh. You don't leave hair don't grow all over you. Maybe don't feel you be cooked up bono soup for night. The bono soup smell the smell all over you, but you get up in the morning and took your shower. But you're still smelling of a bono soup, a tacho soup. You feel someone like I should not do my hair and I don't feel breathe in fresh air. When they come off of your skin, I will come again. No. Let us check our surrounding and begin to make a move. 
Let us begin to ask questions. Look around you. What is that thing that is not moving? What is that thing that is not going? Why are things not going? What is happening? What can I do? Begin to ask yourself questions. The moment you begin to ask yourself questions and begin to check around, you will start making moves. Even the cripple where it be the go where all man be the go for go see Jesus. It be make a move. People that be the can't pass it be the crawl. It be the it be the crawl with botox. It be he made a move until Jesus be finally get it be finally get the healings. He made a move. The shortest man for Bible where be go for go see Jesus. Where also I be do because everybody everywhere done for you not be see Jesus. He made a move by climbing on a tall building or tree or so. He made a move. Even the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible. When Jesus was passing. When Jesus be there for that crowd. That woman be there, there for down with blood bleeding. We don't bleed for years. Hadn't been she made a move. A problem not for be solved. I not come here for can't preach Bible. But that the one make one understand yeah. something that in life make a move. Don't just sit and cry. Don't just sit and complain. Don't just sit and say, "Oh, this is not happening." Some of you, when you things are not happening, instead of you to go down on your knees to pray, when I begin to jump from one juju house, voodoo house to another, it's sad. It is really sad how people will think that a voodoo man or a juju man can solve your problem. This woman with the issue of blood, when Jesus be there for inside that crowd, she crawled. He made a move. She made her way inside for the in between those people just for touch Jesus' garment. Why? Because it be make it be it be that asks itself a question. Have you believed? Have you imagined? Say at that point, she was asking herself question. She was like, okay, if I don't make a move to touch Jesus' garment. I will die with this sickness. No way, no go de me. Despite her situation, she made a move. She crawled in between and struggled for touch Jesus, Jesus in, 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 in the hem of a garment. And what did he do? A problem be be solved. If she did not make a move, she would have remained on that same that sickness, and maybe that sickness will take a life. So, my dear women. Not only women, men. Whatever situation you find yourself in. Begin to think. Begin to ask yourself questions. Begin to look for solution. Make a move. If your marriage is scratching, your relationship is not going. Check around. Is it the food that I am cooking? Some of we might be the cook, saw the pass, Maggie the pass. But your husband or your boyfriend will not don't have that courage to tell you that sweetheart, you see the chop so there's Maggie and salt they put on for years and no go feed. But you go see every day before you want to come out outside, come you go later so I don't chop. I'm not hungry. And you are so comfortable with it. You are so relaxed about it. You don't care because you said if you put the chop for your skin, you said the fat. Sit and ask yourself, why is it that every day when my husband comes back, when my fiance comes back, he always he's always full? What do you used to eat? Where do you used to eat? Begin to check yourself. Try another method of cooking. If you can't communicate with him, if he can't open up, if he's not bold enough to open up to tell you that look, this is the situation. This is why you are lacking. This is why I'm not eating your food. Because you're putting some more short salt on maggie in the food. Or pepper. Try to reduce it. Some men are just heartless. They will not say it. And you as a woman, you will not, you know, okay. You two go just relax. Before you want to so another girl go just come out from nowhere. Can I packet your, 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 your man for your hand? You start working, you make noise everywhere. Where the dress might be the one go meeting or the one go church, 
And their husband not even look you smile because some men them they be so terrible they not even look the wife them tell they say honey you're looking good i like the dress you're putting on i like you to be dressing this way but if you dress for sunday you won't go church or you dress you won't go work or whatsoever and your husband will look you instead of for look you the second time smile he go look you one time chew his face now with the chop of the love that turn his face on this side no so there is something wrong Men, please try to be helping your wives. If you want your wife for the wearing a tight fitting body, body this tight, this close way the chewing gum them for that skin, let your wife know that this is how I want you to be dressing. Instead of staying quiet, and at the end of the day, she suffers. At the end of the day, we na go kick it out of the relationship. On give me. You are welcome, TK. So please, let us learn how to make a move. Let us check around us. Let us check ourselves. Let us ask ourselves questions. Let's take a step back and ask a lot of questions to ourselves. What could be the problem? King, I you don't big. Eh? I thought you've gone past, gone past this stage. <laughs> so, TK, you're welcome. Share a bag. Let's begin to move, begin to move, check around us. We'll see where we are lacking and see how to adjust. Even at your job site, King. Even at your job site. Might be you go to the job, you go for if you you go work for 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 money. The manner in which you dress, you go might be you see people the the fidget around. You see people they make make their face. You know they can they are not bold enough. They are not free to come and tell you that look. The way you dress to come to work is not suitable. It's not nice. Look at your body shape. Dress according to how your shape is. You not go fat let me for yeah. You go carry um tie fitting so kind of tie fitting put the way all folding and fourteen they go the four. Anyone the four they go your own side. But you see them be fidgeting, might be laughing at you behind. You just be normal. For how long will that continue? Go home. Some of you don't even look at yourself in the mirror before you leave your house. Some of us need to look yourself for mirror. You need to dress. You stand look yourself for mirror. Say how do I look? As soon as I throw it, they want to throw off on the skin on the go. Let us try to check our surroundings. Check around you. If things are not going the way it should go, check, take a step back. Ask yourself questions. Make a move. In your marriage, make a move. If your husband might be go come for house on day, does it how the house be stuffy? So this house is very stuffy. This house is very so. Once your husband complain one time, two time, because some men they will get a, so, some some of we will get a very busy husbands. You the wife know say there is something wrong. No wait until problem go big. Start to check around the house. Start to open the windows. Start keep your house clean. Not be that woman where they invite cockroaches and rats for your house. So you should not for your house. You know you should not rat and cockroaches go the, 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 the whole meeting. Now, dirty. Let us try to make a move. Now, all messages will come out on today because after a while, for a long while now, I never become online. I not be even prepared today for start. I be talking month and month and already reached right. I be the plan for start fully na next week. But I say ma I come today for can let on a no say I don't come back. I was mourning my late sister. I believe say by the grace of God I don't money enough. So I am back. TK you don't share. Share a bet. Ma put this put put some mutumbu. This music again. No dance. King, I'll beat you, eh? Should I beat you? Share TK, get get ready. They will dance this music again, this song again. 
No, begin to see if I decide not or not. What is your problem? Share <laughs> ticket, God bless you. Check your surroundings. Ah, uh, now the share that is here. Mm. Thank you, God bless you, sweetheart. If you know that you are getting bigger in your marriage, in your relationship, in your business, you are increasing and you have not been making moves, dance with me and make a move. Make a move so that that situation will change. Make a move so that, that all that things of where the gate and me go stop. We are getting bigger every day. We don't have any, nothing will limit us. Nothing, nothing limit us.
situation do not limit yourself yeah yeah sir yeah yeah you've been buying a class begin to walk out of that situation in every situation we have solution hey life not get duplicated uh, my boy long long time bro i bet try 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 right me uh. Write me, Eli. Eli, Eli, long time. Let's begin to move, guys. Like I said, royalty don't start. Today, I just come back for introduction. For let Una know, say I don't come back because for like three months now, I never come live. I never been live. Because, uh, like I said, I was mourning my late sister. So I am coming back full time. So I did not really come today for any serious life. I just came today to let the people know that I'm back and uh, we'll be doing our live show. Nothing can stop us. Eh? I am getting bigger every day. Do you have Jesus in your life? If you don't have Jesus in your life, you better do. <laughs> if you know no sign for find that Jesus, come and borrow my own.
nothing can stop me. I am getting bigger every day. I am Jesus in my life. Hey. Are you getting bigger in that situation? Do never limit yourself. Any situation where you find yourself, so you be limit yourself. You are not limited. You can do it. We getting bigger every day. Yeah? No limitation. I'm taking over. I'm getting bigger every day. International Boss Lady Show. Take a note, you want to make you die laugh. And as sweet, now you make me as sweet so much. If you are just coming in, please share. I see six people, I want to see six, six share. When I let me share them, I beg. We are getting bigger, Eli. Eli, Eli, we are getting bigger. Do not limit yourself. If you want to limit yourself, you are on your own. With Jesus, with God, all things are possible. As far as you have Jesus in your life, you will get bigger in every area, every department of your life. We should keep on excelling. As you dance with me, may that situation that is limiting you begin to leave you in Jesus' name. Like I said, I come today not just for introduction. I not come today for any serious life. For so just come back and I say I am back. Getting bigger every day. No limitation. I'm taking over. No limitation. I'm taking over. I'm getting bigger every day. I said, Eli, hmm. anybody, see the hair so, I said, the glue inside the hair so, I said, now you touch them for me. Now you plant them for me, baby, the Netherlands. Any was life and direct here in the Netherlands. Any people come back with it to our back. situation begin to dance to your glory check around yourself if now you close them don't hold your master don't tire for the CEO one and the same close them it is not easy go bend down for Krika pick some new clothes up. look some situation the be for life way we just need to change our wardrobe our wardrobe don't mean so you need millions you just need some map pauses thing Sometimes it be for life way. We are get uh, we get stuck. Things they need to move for life. Now because we, do, we hold on to things and way. If we let go of those things, doors will begin to open. You let go of those things, doors will begin to open. Sometimes there's some furniture for your house, so you just need to change it. Even if you don't have money to buy, just change the furniture. Might be now a particular clothes them for your wardrobe. You need to burn them. For your door to open make a move look around you look around your surroundings begin to check what could be the problem get out from that problem only you have the solution to your problem and without god by your side you can never succeed Any Kuku, they always smile. Kuku love me, die. I love that. Don't play. He didn't love me. This smile, no smile. Her said, I didn't miss this, my sherry Kuku. Check around you. Sometimes, them some things them around we now it be the downfall, it be the cause of our problems, it be the cause of our marriage. Check around you. Might be that your friend where you get them, your husband don't like her. Because she's just dead, she's just, just beating up for cause gossiping. She's not helping you to grow your marriage. She's not, your husband cannot tell you that you know what, I don't want to see this your friend. 
But sometimes it's the action they say speak louder than word. If you see the action of your husband, and each time whether your friend they around, use your brain. Your mandola oblongata should be reactivated. No, say my husband does that behave funnily. Anytime when this my friend they around, my husband will behave this way. Use your brain. No, say there is something wrong. You have to do something. Try to start shift away from that your friend. No, say that your friend are a reason why you want to start cause problem for your relationship or for your marriage. Maybe you get a particular sister, a particular cousin or so, where the, he always take you and go hang out, he always be around you. If your husband or your wife, is, this does not go only to the women. Men, you also take notes. Maybe your woman, this is your particular friend or your cousin, where they can be facing the street each time when they come. Make a move as soon as possible. Do not let things go out of hands. Before you start calling family meeting them for soft problem. Make a move. Because maybe your wife cannot tell you that you see this your cousin. It's normal. It's not missing that your cousin. If your cousin they come where they come and come bring cause problem for your marriage, for your for your relationship. Where each time where you come, they want to come and go drink alcohol. Each time where you come, when anytime where they are cousin, they present. That means that day. Now 12 midnight, you become house. Anytime where they are present, they are causing visit. That may say that day. Now they done. So if your woman or your, 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 your husband don't decide say anytime where they are causing, this is a two-way thing. Eh? It's not a one-way thing. You decide and say, anytime where this is your friend or they are causing, they might be your woman, your husband, if face don't change, or your wife, if face don't change. Make a move. Do something. No, she don't wait until water don't pass Gary. Then you start run, write long, long apology letter. You start look for me, so it might be your husband or your wife is gone. It don't divert your attention somewhere else. You know, men, they, they easily move on. You go say, you know what? Since your cousin, you always can't keep you company because some of us, once our friend, they don't come. Or she don't for story, she don't. You don't care if your husband has walked in. You don't even care how to even welcome your husband, darling, welcome. Let me set your table. As soon as she don't want to gossip, you and your friend, your husband, you know, go even notice it. And most of our dear friends, whether they can, they do this intentionally to break our marriages, to destroy our relationships. Open your eyes. Ask God to give you the spirit of discernment. Check the people around you. Check even your family members, not only friends. Because family members are there where they come purposely for your house, for cause, cause havoc, or cause confusion, cause, cause chakra for your relationship or your marriage. Be wise like in Solomon. Look around. Check your husband, your wife, a countenance. Once your husband or your wife, a countenance don't start change for a particular direction, make a move. Make a move. If you don't pass you and not handle and take it to God in prayers. They say when situation don't weigh you down, you don't have any choice than to go down on your knees and begin to robo kabashaba, begin to pray. Might be it is me. That is how I solve my problem because my problems, they don't last for one day because I have a God in heaven that <laughs> he will never allow me to go in pains for one day. He will say, my daughter, you know what? I am here because you already said at the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago, he said, now bring you in trouble. Carry all your load. Carry all your wahala. Carry everything where you know, say your dirty, your chakra thing. Bring that for me. Now make this for cross. I'm ready for carry him. Why worry when you have a God? Someone called me and told me that. He told me, say, yeah, a lot of things and they happen. My picking, I need to do so, 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 so. I'm not some person, they do them. Now some person, they do this. My pick, yeah, picking God is sick. Any alcohol, you be there, yeah, you are witness. <laughs> TK, you say, you like gossipy. Eh? <laughs> you go see now, so your master before you want to know you're back there for gate. For inside, you're closing there for Ghana, must go back. So, some women that they gossip, so they, that they gossip, so they forget themselves, forget about their, 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 their place as a married woman. 
Forget that. Say, before you want to know your back, your Ghana must go there for gate. Then you start working around, hate a scatter for start call people for join family meeting. It is late. It is too late. All that time we go use them for the gossip. All that time we go to divert your attention for that your friend. We go come. New close one come. Hey, my friend, you don't hear. You don't hear where the one we don't happen. You don't hear that new close. How we go do forget that close? It is divert your attention. It's all some of them go make and so before you want to the next woman where them be a the married and another friend. They go confirm say sha. Not be top. Let us open our eyes. Let us be wise. More be wise like King Solomon. More pray me God give with the spirit of discernment. Make you be very careful. <laughs> if you get to your one particular shoe where your master will take and let play, hmm, that your shoe again, that your shoe again. No say you no know, like him. There is something wrong. If your master tells her, say, that how your eye does so, how that eyelashes for your eye, and how when well, you not appreciate them. Some men will never tell you that, you know what, well, that thing doesn't fit you. They will take that some kind of jackery way tell you. Hmm. How do your eyelashes they so, hmm. How you look, wait, you don't, why they, how you, hmm. They, they will not come straight and tell you that, you know what, well, that eyelashes, it is that eyelashes that are made to your face to change. And I don't like it. Please don't put it next time. They will start past corner, corner bush, corner, corner water. You as a wise woman, be wise. Men, on the work, some of the work, drink beer anyhow. On a belly, they big. Some girl go marry a fine mannequin and dance boy. Before you want know, belly don't start porch for front like for le 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 le, le woman where pregnant woman where as months go goes by, the belly they project for front. Only alcohol, beer. Once your woman starts saying, honey, how your belly don't start big, so no say in those either the shape where you come out and I not like them. Make a move. Do something. Reduce drinking alcohol. Go to gym. Work on yourself to have that six pack back. Make a move. If you woman, even if you don't burn a five picking, you don't burn a na, na, na four like me for you. Not throw away yourself. Before your master go to say, how you don't fat so? Because some men, the life of body shame women. They not go come say, sweetheart, try for reduce. And also you don't burn picking them. Because as they burn no skin, they not ever be the same. Your husband not go tell you where, babe, or sweetheart, or whatever, or na mami and maka that they call you. God bless you, Tiki. I beg ya. Try for reduce woman, also you don't burn, but this kind, because some men, they, 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 they like to see their woman as the way they did. But they no go talk. When you pass, they go, instead of a smile, they go frown their face. They say that some evil spirit don't pass. You see, a husband will start behave strangely for house, like, you guys are fighting where there is no problem. You go start see attitude. Do not just sit and say, hmm, it didn't make face to work or go make that face together. See me see trouble. Check yourself. Make a move. Stand on the mirror. Check yourself. No say, okay, if you did burn, your skin can never be the same. But do something to look beautiful for your husband. Because some men, they're not going to ever think, say, no, that will be married, they get, that will be do this girl, not be so, it be they. But because of the childbearing, it don't change his skin. No, they just want him to be that black Coca-Cola bottle where they meet up before. It cannot be so, but do your best. Some fact, the way where you don't fat, you don't bump because your skin don't expand. No matter which kind of gym you make, if you can't make gym upside down, you, you turn your head. Take your foot there for up and for down for, for, for one year. You know, go reduce. But make a move, do something. If your skin don't change for that size one way, be the way that you know if you wear size one again, do not force yourself into that size one. Go to the, your size. For the shape where you don't get them, you go always get close where you go fit you. Where you go, you go still look sexy inside. No go force yourself for that size one close. You don't pass that stage. Why? Because you are a mother now. Some reaction don't take place for your skin when you that pregnancy. As you be carrying belly bones so your skin. Some people they do it, they get their skin. I guess on my mommy, where that mommy, if you see, see don't burn, now in nature. 
He get fine small. I see bunny come back so try the shrink na shrink. I see bunny shrink back. I see but some people they not they so. People they like we as the bunny they expand. Man like me when I be they grow up the things I go ever fat you know go green. I be there like Janja Moto, like Mbororo Pekin. But you never can determine your fate when you start lose blood when you start carry belly the bone. You know me say when you bust after I don't marry I don't born nobody born mommy picking like me no make a move even if not for take a walk every morning time control how you swallow your fufu control eating of salt and oil sweety things if your husband cannot tell you make a move men some of you too when a woman don't marry to now they find that women that they try their best for keep their self beautiful now but when I just day, some men them back for throw away their skin like popcorn. Men, if your wife is counting and done the change, your, your, your girlfriend is counting and done the change, check around you. There is something wrong. There is something you are doing that she does not like. But she's not bold enough to tell you. Check yourself. If you take a step back, you will realize what you are doing that is offending your partner. And you will change. Fix things as soon as possible. Do not let things go out of hands and you begin to look for solution heta skater. Some of you when on a marriage, you don't finally crash for air like plane crash. When I start working, find, find this um, prophet, then this prophet of whether they prophesy doom. When I go, they prophesy doom for you. At the end of the day, I say, na, 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 fake prophet, na, fake this, na, fake that. Why? Because you let things go out of hands. Check yourself and make a move. Make a move like that woman with the issue of blood for Bible. Make a move like Jesus Christ himself. Make a move. Do something. Check your surrounding. Might be you are using a cologne. You are wearing a cologne. A perfume. You don't change perfume because your friend don't can't say himbo. That perfume may eat bad. My man, him husband, if fiance, if boyfriend feel like the perfume, but your, your husband no go like him. You go run, you go buy that perfume or buy that body spray. When you go to your husband, say like, what is now? What is spray and so Now so some men then they eh? Some men they know they say no. You don't change your perfume. I the, I the discover. I don't discover. I say they smell different. Now which perfume do you use them now? Sweetheart, that your first perfume I be like him. Why you change them? I beg go back for there. Some men will not say that. They will make their face like, hmm. You use not gonna do it in spray and so it is hmm. Make a move and leave that perfume and sap. Change that perfume, just no say not like them. And when you continue again, I say go start put on strange attitude, strange behavior. It go just start behave for us as if on a query, one and no query. Check around you and make a move. That's the, mes the message for today. Even at your business site, if you get a particular friend where they ever visit you, when that friend visit you, now go should not store it. one customer no go pass. You don't know that your friend in motive for the take and come for your business place. Make a move. Tell us bo na business this. Please, we will see for us. Check around you. What is that situation that has kept you on one position? If you keep on looking on that situation and the situation is looking at you, years will pass you by. Nothing will change. But if you begin to take a step back and ask yourself question, look around, what is going on? What is it that I'm not doing? What do I have to do? If you don't have answers to your question, there is a, somebody up there that have answers to all our problems. If you recognize him and you know him, you begin to dial his number and he will begin to answer you because he's always ready to he's, he's always ready with his phone he always do with his phone for a hand for pick up any call that person is jesus christ he always they ready for pick up any call any day any time he doesn't sleep nor slumber if you don't go left and right, you don't know what to do. Pick up your phone and dial his number. It is a very simple number. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Simple. Dial this number. 
and you will see he will pick up your call immediately you die and begin to give you solution to your problems some of us some of us just need to let some people in our life go for that situation to change some of us just like to just need to let some of some of friends go let them go Otherwise, that your high blood will keep on increasing. Diabetes go out on top. Some of us just need to let some people go. Letting them go doesn't mean that you don't like them. Letting them go doesn't mean that you don't care about them. Letting them go doesn't mean that, no. Letting them go for your own sake, for your own safety. Letting them go for, for you forget your own sanity intact. Some people can really drive you crazy. This life itself, not enough wahala. So we should not look far, no, not the knock our head left and right and find prophecy and solution. Our solution is there for one hand. You just need to look beyond your nose. Take a step back, take a deep breath. And you begin to discover what your problem is and how to go about it. Some of us who don't hold on into a relationship with that relationship, not the goal. But you are there for better, for do or die. You did not sign, even married when you sign them, if you know the goal is not going, you let it go. Some of us just need to let some certain things go for us to keep our sanity intact. Some of us will die, will die in silence because we want to keep pride. Because we're not going to people, they don't say, oh, I don't finish with that boy. I don't finish with that girl. I don't finish with my marriage. I'm not here to encourage a, a, a divorce. But if, like I said, if you die that number, he will begin to give you solution. Check around you. Look left and right. Ask God for the spirit of discernment. Look around you. Whatever sickness, whatever problem, whatever situation, you are bigger than that. You are bigger than your situation if you are wise. Look around you. Some of us even are where would the work be our problem? Let it go. It is not easy. It is easier said than done, but yes. If you check and see that your high blood that you are having, your sickness that you are having, your problem that you are having is due to your work, you will not die because the moment you die, they will replace you the same day with another worker. If you realize that where you are working, that is where your problem is coming from, let it go. Make a move. Some of us need to let some things go. If it is not going, make a move for your own good. Check your surrounding. Begin to fix your marriage wherever you are. Stop crying. Stand up like that strong woman that you are. Check around you. Make a move. Begin to fix things. If you need to upset your house and clean your house, upset your house and clean your house. Sweep everything. Might be you need, like I said earlier, you need to change a furniture in your house to let you move on. Might be you need to, to burn some certain dresses. Burn them. Make a move for your own good. Make a move to save your marriage. Make a move to save the life of your children. Make a move to save your business. Make a move. If you are living a carefree life without Jesus, you find it very difficult. But Christ with you and it in you and around you, he will always give you solution. He will always whisper in your ear, my daughter, you are going left. You are not supposed to go left. You take right. And people will begin to wonder how you are doing your things. 
If you don't have Jesus in your life, sorry. Okay. I want to thank you all. We are going to listen to this song again one last time. And then I will go. Like I said, I did not come today. I just came here to announce to you people that I have been away for a while. And I am back now. Hmm? I am back now. I have come back full time. So whatever rubbish I'll come and take here, please help me and share. Maybe this rubbish we are not talking for here, it will help somebody somewhere. Help me. If you are, you are watching me spiritually, share it spiritually, please. God bless you. Let's listen to this song. And then I'm done for today. Elias, I finished in life. I did contact you. They WhatsApp now. They are not bagay WhatsApp, right? We never, we never talk some more. Getting bigger every day. No limitation. I'm taking over. I'm getting bigger every day. No limitation. We're taking over. Guys, West trainers are in. The gym wears are in. I beg. When I shrink that belly, them inside. So they're going to look sexy for your husband. Man picking on a way West trainer too. West trainer gym wear all the things they are in. So I do postage also all over. I said the other time that even for war zone, for Kafancha, Afghanistan, at the post. So begin to place your orders. The things are in Western at the day, two-piece gym wear. The, the pants wear itself like Western. Um, I think next week I go wear one again for advertiser for show as a day. Everything they will begin to place on my order. Wear Western at the same quality Western, eh? Not be that way, but when I begin to chop your belly, I might defy the wall. I say quality Western. I am a fire. I am a fire. I am a fire. Eh? Backward, not forward. Though. I am going forward, not backward. Getting bigger. Getting bigger every day. No limitation. I'm taking over. I'm getting bigger every day. I'm getting bigger every day. No limitation. I'm taking over. I'm getting bigger every day. I'm shining everywhere. Eh? 
Apologize now. 5 p.m. Now I ever start. But if I come a little bit late, just take me as you see me. I'll be mommy picking. The time we go ready say one can show. Another time picking go start crying. Another time might be beginning for change your diapers. Sometimes I don't shit, you need for change up. So my picking first. So if my picking need me, I go attend to him first before I come. So even if he miss I want start one hour late, or I, I don't mind, I will always come. People go always watch later. The one the way they go follow me life, they go follow me life. God bless you all for coming. Stay safe and continue always to practice social distances. Because Corona don't come now, it will be a face upon face. Face one don't pass, face two don't pass. Now we listen to face three. We go see where that face go end for the Corona. May the faces they keep on coming. By the grace of God, we have conquered Corona. In Jesus' name. So thank you, my dear people. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. I love you all. Bye bye, my people. We'll meet again next week. Bye. Eli, Eli, I'll contact you now. Okay? Bye.